Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to go ahead and start our next presentation. Um, in an effort to uh, provide a diversity of programming, we decided to integrate not only panels you traditionally see in symposiums, but we also wanted to showcase some of the innovative research and thinking that comes out of the MIT Center for Real Estate. Um, on that front, I'm extremely pleased uh, to have with us today Professor David Geltner. Uh, in addition to uh, numerous other uh, roles within the Center for Real Estate, uh, he is a, a leading uh, expert and researcher in the finance industry and is here today to discuss the opportunity of derivatives and the work he's done on the Moody's Transaction-Based Index. And so without further uh, uh, delay, I please introduce uh, Professor David Geltner. Thank you so much and please join me in welcoming him. Thanks, Mike. Speaking of Mike, is, is the mic on? I'm working okay? Okay. Um, well, uh, very pleased to be here. I extend my, uh, my congratulations to the Alumni Association for putting together. This is an awesome event. Um, and as, as you know, this is um, also kind of a follow-up to this uh, case competition that, uh, that occurred yesterday uh, here at the same place. How many people were also in, uh, attending or involved in the case competition? Not too many, actually, I guess, but a few. In any case, um, I certainly welcome any of the uh, students um, that, have, that have stayed around here from, from various other places. I, I congratulate the Cornell team that was the winner. Uh, for, you, for those of you who don't know, there were 16 teams competing from around the country, top schools, all of them. Um, and uh, Cornell uh, emerged as the victor. Uh, I'm very pleased to say, however, that uh, one, one of the two MIT teams came in a very close second. I'm sure it was very close. Um, but uh, but this, is, this is really a very impressive um, set of events that, that the alumni have uh, put together here, and I really offer my congratulations. Um, so what I'm going to talk about here um, is, um, is these new transaction-based indices that we have... Um, I think played a lead role in helping to develop at the MIT Center for Real Estate. And um, I think that this, this goes along with the previous panel that we just heard, which, which was an awesome panel. I, I was fascinated by every, every minute of that. Um, this is a, you know, so much of the, the world today is, is all about information, right? The information is the base and the driver of, of of the economy and, and of, of everything. Um, and I don't know that there's any industry that's, that's more involved in information than real estate. Every aspect of real estate and every aspect of information. And um, that's basically what we're tapping into here. I, I don't know that there's any sort of single piece of information that's more important, or even, I'm going to say as important, as the prices in the asset market. And not just the level of these prices, but the direction. Are, are they rising or are they falling? Have they peaked? Have they bottomed? You know, what's going on? There's nothing more important than that. And, um, you know, you go back a generation and there was really no solid quantitative information about that at all. And then about 30 years ago, the first important uh, you know, milestone was, was crossed there with the development of the NACREF Index, National Council of real estate investment fiduciaries. And that has been the classical and the benchmark index that has been used in the U.S. and it spawned um, you know, some, some uh, similar indices uh, overseas, in particular the IPD index, Investment Property Data Bank in the U.K., which has now sort of taken over the world and is also here in the U.S. Um, these are appraisal-based indexes and they're, they're really excellent. They, they gave a first sort of solid picture of what's going on in the, uh, in the in institutional investment marketplace. Um, as wonderful as those indexes were and remain, and as important as they are, um, we, we saw a couple of things a few years ago. Um, one was that there's been this explosion of uh, digital data available about commercial property prices, actual transaction prices uh, in the U.S. commercial property market, uh, as exemplified by one of the center's industry partners, uh, Real Capital Analytics. They're not the only firm that, that puts together that kind of data, but they've been one of the leading firms and they are a leading partner at the center. And their database is, is really quite impressive. Um, and uh, that combined with also uh, our involvement with NACREF, 
led us to think about um, you know, harnessing that kind of data, that kind of digital data availability now with uh, state-of-the-art statistical techniques, computer-based statistical techniques, to see if we could come up with a new type of real estate price index that is based directly and purely on the actual transaction prices of the deals that have been done and closed. Rather than appraised values or self-reported values of a, of a particular niche or population of properties, this would be a much broader um, you know, population of properties uh, and based you know, on the solid, you know, it's, it's, uh, you know, actual cash changing hands. So that was our idea and um, we, uh, we've been involved in the development of several uh, indexes, uh, three, three indexes we've been involved with. Um, the first one was indeed, is based on the NACREF database. It's known affectionately as the TBI, Transaction Based Index, uh, because it's, it's the same population of properties as tracked by the NACREF index, um, all the properties that are in the NACREF index, but this is based on the properties that sell from that index and based on the actual transaction prices of those sales. And we launched that index, uh, and of course, with the cooperation of NACREF, we launched that in uh, February of 2006 with the fourth quarter of 2005. And we've been publishing it every quarter since then at the center. It's on our website. Um, the next index that we got involved with um, is now called the Moody's Real CPPI, Commercial Property Price Index. Um, and we, we've published that since December of 2006. Uh, and that's a monthly index uh, with its headline uh, index. It's a whole suite of indexes. Um, and then the third project that we have been involved with um, is still an ongoing project. This is an index that's not yet commercially available, uh, but it's an even, um, in some ways, a, a, a more sophisticated type of index based on REIT prices, but it's actually looking through the REITs at the underlying property. Um, we call this the Pure Property Index. Our sponsor, our partner there um, is, is NARI, uh working with FTSE. So three indexes, um, the TBI, where NACREF has been the partner, the CPPI, where Real Capital Analytics has been the primary industry partner and, and the data source, and the Pure Property Project, where NARIT has been the partner. Um, so, like I say, we've been publishing the TBI continuously every quarter since, um, uh, you know, for five years now. And um, you, if you go to the center's website, the, the home page, and then you click on the, on the link to the TBI, you'll, you'll see a page like this, and you can download all the data. It's, it's free for the public. Um, and um, uh, I think it's a, it was a, a, a transformational um, you know, step. Um, the, the, the real capital analytics-based index, it's a repeat sale index um, in that way, similar to the Case-Shiller Index of Housing. And um, this was, um, in, in some sense, um, sold, the methodology was sold by MIT to um, an entity called Real. <laughs> Real Estate Analytics, LLC, which then combined with Moody's to actually, so Moody's Investor Service, the, the bond rating agency, um, has uh, taken over the actual production and publication of this index, and it's branded as the Moody's Real Index. Um, and uh, this is an example of uh, their most recent report. Um, so again, you can access this index through Moody's or through Real Estate Analytics, which their, their website is realindices.com, or we also still publish this on the MIT website as well with, with a delay. Uh, we have to, you know, obviously Moody's publishes it first. Um, this is that third index, just a, a quick picture of it. Uh, like I say, this one is not ready for publication yet. It's an ongoing um, uh, R&D project. It's more than an R&D project. It's, it's in its final stages of commercial development by the commercial index partner of NARI, which is FTSE, the, the outgrowth of the Financial Times uh, people in, in the UK. Um, and um, here's a picture. Of it. This, this will be a daily index. So the first one, the TBI is quarterly, the CPPI is monthly, and this is daily. Now we can, we can be daily because this is based on REIT share prices. Uh, but what, like I say, what we do, we use statistical techniques and this wealth of information about the property holdings of the REITs to produce an index that effectively says, well, what, what was going on in the properties held by these REITs as evaluated by the stock market each day? 
uh, and we can break it down into types of properties. So here we're showing the three, ma the four major food, five major food groups, excuse me, apartments, industrial, office, retail, and hotel. Um, and you can see how that uh, sort of splays out there during the, I'm going to walk around here a little bit. You, ca you can see how it, um, uh, oops, I don't know what's going on here. How the different uh, sectors kind of pulled apart during the big up market. And then in the big crash, everything crashed together. This is, uh, you know, correlations going towards one in a big crisis. Um, and this is just a prototype, doesn't carry us too far into the recovery. But um, uh, this is, I think, a very exciting uh, index product. Um, so basically what we've done, it's a, it's a complementary and comprehensive set of uh, new, new price indices that uh, I think can have a transformational impact on the industry ultimately. Um, and I won't, I won't uh, get us too bogged down in all the details, but the point here is that no two of these indexes exactly duplicates the other. Each, each one brings um, something unique and important, uh, different to the picture. For example, the, uh, the NAICREF-based TBI um, has the longest history, um, and, but it, and it, it's based on the smallest population of properties, roughly $300 billion of properties owned by the NAICREF uh, data contributing members that go into that NAICREF index. It's a very interesting and, and sort of a benchmark group of uh, properties, but it's a, it's a small and rather specialized group. Um, that index includes not just a price index, but it tracks the demand side of the market, the supply side of the market. It's a total return index, but it's only at the national level. And it's not meant to be, or really, it wouldn't be a good index to actually trade if you were trying to make derivatives. 